Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another early morning forecast here by 8 of the forecast. And we're going to be doing something a bit different here. We're going to be taking a break from the severe weather. I'll be having another weather forecast here on the potential severe weather outbreak next week. But we're, we're not we're not going to be focusing on the southwest because it's been a very long time since we've had something important there. But now we have extremely, extremely uh, warm temperatures here and the worst place it can possibly be in the southwestern deserts we're now seeing triple digits in some of these areas guys in april in april we're seeing triple digits we're going to be seeing up to possibly 15 to 30 plus degrees above average in these areas in nevada california arizona and then we'll be seeing widespread above average temperatures in the west coast or uh, in the general west united states but definitely be the worst heat will be in the southwest, and that it's actually going to be dangerous heat. Las Vegas, San Diego, Los Angeles, Phoenix, all you guys are going to be seeing extremely warm temperatures. But good news is, later uh, into early May, we will be seeing a pattern change. But it's we're still going to be seeing these incredibly warm temperatures throughout now, today, and then early next week, or much of next week. But if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, guys, if you are new to the uh, of channel of course i do daily weather forecasts on multiple topics here also p uh, please be sure to share the channel to help my to help spread the word of my videos in my channel so please help uh spread the word and again without further ado let's get in this video so now that we're continuing to get uh getting closer into the uh much getting more into spring and getting closer to summer we're definitely be seeing a uh, new alerts that we have not seen in a couple of months. We now have a, our first excessive heat warnings and excessive heat watches of the year, and actually our first heat advisories of the year. These are our first heat alerts of the year. So again, we are now finally starting to see the sign of uh, really the end of winter. Really, it's uh, been a, a couple of weeks late, but we're finally starting to see these extremely warm temperatures but it seems like they're actually we're jumping uh we're skipping spring now and possibly going straight to the win uh going straight to summer in parts of the united states and of course this will be the southwest again here we have heat advisories excessive heat warnings and excessive heat watches so for the areas that are seeing uh the least threat of seeing dangerous temperatures warm temperatures there are in the heat advisories but again we are still going to be seeing a uh, very warm temperatures in these areas so don't rule that out so you definitely still want to possibly hydrate and avoid being outside too long because we are still definitely going to be seeing very warm temperatures in these heat advisories even though you're not in excessive heat warnings or advisories so that's going to be for areas near the los angeles area san diego and much of the uh, southwestern coast of california so let's actually check out the areas that are actually in that so again here we have uh, actually San Diego's and a dense fog advisory as well. Again, we uh, Los Angeles, Santa Monica, uh, Ontario, Riverside, Oceanside, um, areas near Chula Vista, El Cajon, and all these other areas out here into southwestern California. So that's going to be for many big cities there. And then the biggest start is here in this excessive heat warning. That is where we'll definitely be seeing the worst of these temperatures. And not only that, these are areas are already warm in general for their average. And we're going to be adding now 30 degrees above average. Can you just imagine what that's going to feel like in these areas? Plus what it actually, not only the real time temperature, but it's, what it's going to feel like. So again, in Phoenix and Casa Grande, we have excessive heat warnings here for uh, Southern Arizona. And then we have excessive heat warnings now for uh, Parker, Arizona, Arizona, Palm Springs, California, El Centro, uh, Imperial, and Yuma, uh, Arizona, and parts of Southern California. So again, definitely be seeing extremely warm temperatures. Definitely want to uh, hopefully you guys put your air conditioning a lot lower. Definitely need to uh, reduce your time in the sun and definitely need to stay hydrated. And then we have these excessive heat watches. That is still a very, very a uh, big thing they actually have an excessive heat watch so you're definitely need to watch out as well for las vegas uh kingman uh, uh 29 palms uh lake have have a sioux city uh and uh, those what we're having there and then we also have other areas out here more into uh more into western california uh the wi-fi is a bit slow so it's it's gonna be taking a little bit to actually uh, pop up once you click this uh so let's just wait a little bit until it actually uh, gets into the uh what we're looking at all right so this is what we're looking at look at this our record here 
uh, for Tuesday is 109 degrees for Death Valley, California on 2007. We're getting right on that, right on 109. Our average 95. That is still a big, big difference. Look at this. We're beating records now. Look at 2013 for Las Vegas, 97 degrees. You breaking that today at 998 uh, degrees. Look at this now. Tied uh, record uh, heat for Kingman, Arizona. Record 2007. Uh, so I think so. Definitely see warm temperatures. Uh, uh, a huge warm front on 2007. 94 degrees for Kingman. We're getting 94 there. Average 78. Getting close to 20 degrees above average. Look at this. At a uh, record for Needles, California. 106. Uh, now 103, and our average is 89. So we are getting extremely, extremely warm temperatures. For Wednesday, we're going to be also breaking records or tying records here. Kingman tying records from 2013. Again, looks like our record for Death Valley, 112, and we're getting 109. Definitely looks like we might actually get warmer than that. So again, this is definitely crazy uh, huge uh, temperatures, really. Again, it's going to be Baker, Death Valley, um... Again, huge, huge, uh, this is actually going to be not uh, just a huge warm front. This is going to be dangerous heat, as you can tell. Again, like I said earlier in the video, it's not just going to be the southwest. It's going to be this very warm temperature. Again, we're going to be seeing this ridge, of course, that's going to be building up. You're going to be keeping it this cold air here as well. So, definitely be keep, keeping, again, this ridge of this cold air. That's going to be keeping in this warm air. Uh, for the west, but uh, of course look at where the worst of it's going to be the southwest and by later into now early in May We'll start to see these uh, these warm temperatures now getting to Colorado, Utah, and Texas But again uh, for this week is the threat is for the southwest But as we get early next week it starts to continue to spread eastward And then we have a pattern switch by later into May early uh, the first week of May So here we have this big area of focus we're going to be getting reaching now 80 to 90 percent uh, chance we're seeing above average temperatures and again uh, just because you're in that 80 90 percent chance doesn't mean you're going to be seeing the worst of the heat compared to your average it just means you guys have the best chance of seeing warmer temperatures but you definitely don't want to be you definitely want to be you don't want to be closer to that 100 percent chance so that means it's just going to be brutal heat and then we're going to be seeing again of course this widespread threat of heat but again it's not going to be too shabby uh, for areas in the Pacific Northwest or the North Central Plains, really the worst of the heat will be maintaining here into uh, Wyoming all the way to Texas. This is where we're likely to be seeing the best chance for very warm temperatures. Um, and then these other areas are again a bit on the lower side, but of course, they're going to be seeing the very widespread threat throughout much of the western United States and Central Plains. So Seeing a very huge warm up, and finally, looks like this warm air is finally gonna be taken over. So no more huge unexpected cold fronts. So here, are the tropical tidbits. Here we have this very warm temperatures. Here uh, again, this is for today as well. So if it actually lets me go to the southwest, um, I actually just want to see which one's better. Uh, so possibly going into the southwest here. So let's actually wait for it to load. So I actually do apologize. It is taking a bit. Uh, a while to low we've been having a couple of uh, Wi-Fi issues for the past two days so I do apologize but here we have this very warm temperatures of, of course we're gonna be nearing up to 20 degrees above average later today come uh, for again this is where we're gonna be seeing record-breaking heat throughout areas today and then pine are getting close to record-breaking heat uh, out here and other areas tomorrow but very very warm temperatures in Southern California I think tell we have this whole widespread area though for Nevada, Arizona, and California, especially Southern California, near the Death Valley area as well. You guys are gonna be seeing very warm temperatures, seeing uh, possibly nearing up to eight to twelve degrees above average uh, for Las Vegas and Phoenix. As we can now get tomorrow, this is not get any better for areas. It just become a bit more widespread now into Nevada. We're gonna start seeing warmer temperatures getting now up to sixteen to maybe eighteen degrees above average, and then for other areas out here just outside of uh, San Diego and also Los Angeles, we'll be seeing up to 20 degrees above average. Again, starting to see this heat becoming a bit more widespread across the West United States, seeing some warmer temperatures uh, into Idaho and Wyoming. And then it does not get whatsoever better on Monday as well. Still seeing this very warm temperatures for these same exact areas for Nevada, California, much of Arizona, even seeing uh, quite the warm temperatures. Now for Utah, getting co close to 12 to 15 degrees above average in some of these areas here. And now if we get into Tuesday, we're still seeing these really big pockets of uh, warmer air across Southern California, seeing a bit of those pockets of warmer air 
becoming a bit more widespread now into New Mexico, Colorado, Utah. So this is going to start to be the pattern of where we see this whole west United States getting extremely warm. And look at this. By later Wednesday, we're going to be seeing extremely widespread now. Very warm temperatures. Seeing now uh, much of Nevada really warming up by a huge difference. You're going to be possibly seeing uh, again up to 12 degrees above the average here. Uh, and possibly in other years right here could be getting 16 to 19 degrees above the average here as well. So also going to see this maybe heat getting a bit better for uh, Houston, uh, not Houston, Colorado and New Mexico. But that uh, for uh, uh, for Wednesday and then by Thursday, it just it's not even going to get any better. Uh, only really thing is that we're starting to see that cool down, of course, for now the west, uh, Pacific Northwest by uh, by Friday, which is still a whole, almost a whole week of very warm temperatures. And look at this, extremely warm temperatures now becoming more widespread into the plains. And then again, we'll start to see that bit of a cool down now for, uh, into the early days of May for the Southwest, but for some areas, we'll still be seeing very warm temperatures. So, uh, again, we're still going to be seeing above average temperatures for some of these areas, but it's not going to be coming really as widespread. Or really as bad, so possibly you might see these excessive heat warnings uh, go away in the next in the coming days. Again, here we now the six hours. Here we had this very warm temperatures, uh, some cold front moving into the plains, and here we had this ridge being set in place with the very warm temperatures coming out from this uh, again from the Pacific. Again, again already starting to see 14 degrees above average in some of these areas in Southern California. So again, starting to see that huge warm up. And then as we now get in the next 24 hours, we're now continuing to see this very warm temperatures become more and more widespread in the California areas into Arizona and much of Nevada. In the next 48 hours, we're continuing to see this warm air moving east, uh, sorry, moving uh, eastward. Uh, that's going to be taking over areas into the north central plains. And here we have this being this ridge being set in place, going to continue to be leaving this cold air out here into the into the uh, east. But as this does, uh, again, we have this. Uh, warm air continue to move eastward that will of, of course remove that cold front at a really fast pace but this this warm front's not going to be moving as fast as this uh, this cold front going to be uh, seeing 13 degrees above average across the western United States but of course the worst of it will be for the southwest because their average temperatures are really warm enough and then we have another huge warm up by Thursday getting close to 16 degrees above average right here into Idaho and Areas in Oregon. The good thing is these are, these are the areas that actually usually are a bit cooler at this time of the year, but definitely be seeing that huge warm up, and then this will move eastward. Uh, but it's not going to get any better. Not going to be seeing possibly again 20 degrees above average for areas into Colorado, Texas, as that warm front does move eastward. And it's not going to get any better whatsoever. It will cool down a little bit for the southwest, but we're still going to be seeing uh, slightly above average temperatures. But the worst of it looks to be out here into the central plain. So this is definitely going to be a big topic for the next coming days. So it definitely going to be seeing a lot more videos on the warm front. And then we'll start to see a huge cool down now. Finally seeing our first below average temperatures in the southwest uh, from now today on all the way to the May 5th. So you guys might not be seeing below average temperatures till May 5th in the southwest, which is absolutely crazy. So... Now let's actually take a look at the real-time temperatures for some of these areas so we can actually see exactly what the temperatures are going to be like. Again, we already saw some cities, but let's just take in general. So we're going to be seeing already later today, we're going to be seeing triple digits out here to Southern California, up to 100 areas into near Yuma. We'll be seeing to 96. See now Arizona, uh, as we do get a, a bit warm, we're going to be seeing at 82 already. Seeing up to 90 for Los Angeles. So really, really warm temperatures, but the overnight, overday highs... Uh, we'll be seeing up to 104 for Southern California areas again near uh, uh, Death Valley, getting into 95. Going to be seeing now uh, Las Vegas near 87, uh, up to 88, or uh, around 90 for Phoenix. So huge warm up as we get in the overday hours. And then tomorrow, actually, temperatures are going to be a lot warmer, getting close to 106 to 105 degrees out in some of these areas. Going to be seeing this, uh, these 80s now become a bit more widespread into the Bay Area. So we're going to see uh, now some 60s and 70s getting to Idaho. And that's going to be seeing a huge warm up for 
uh, Wyoming, our biggest warm front of the year for our areas into Wyoming and the South, uh, the Pacific, uh, just the general West. Uh, Again, getting, getting very close to the triple digits out here into the New Mexico area, uh, or into the uh, Phoenix area. You start seeing these 80s getting to 90s already now into New Mexico. We do see our Monday, uh, Monday starting to cool down just a little bit, seeing now 95s. And then by later that day, uh, we'll start to see that big warm up. And then by later on into Wednesday, that's when we see that really, really warm temperatures. Uh, now we're going to be seeing up to, again, around 93 for Las Vegas. Now seeing these uh, 90s be becoming a bit more widespread here. And then actually, if we get this thing to actually now, re uh, this thing to actually move forward in the future, that would actually be great. Um, again, by Wednesday, though, uh, overnight or the overday or overnight, we'll see in these temperatures really warm. We're going to be seeing some 80s as warm as uh, night temperatures into the overnight hours. And as until we're going to be seeing 20s in some areas in Colorado. And then that will definitely completely change as we move on into now next week. So it actually finally loaded, but as we now get into, uh, as we now get into now Thursday, this is when temperatures really start to now push uh, northward now seeing these triple digits getting way more widespread uh now getting nearing the triple digits for now phoenix getting up to maybe 170 degrees in some areas into the southern california border with mexico maybe seeing now up to very high 90s for las vegas now we're missing up to 80 degrees guys almost 80 degrees in idaho in april 30th we don't see 80s there until may and i mean late may that's a huge warm-up we're going to be seeing up to 83 for Denver, this is just absolutely crazy. This warm up, guys, it's going to be record breaking heat for millions, as you can tell. But again, this is extremely warm temperatures in some of these areas. Let me see if it actually tells us if we'll be seeing record breaking heat here, just seeing if it will, uh, just in case, because that's going to be seeing up to 83 for Denver. That's absolutely crazy. We were seeing some snow flurries in that area two weeks ago. Uh, I don't know if it's actually going to tell us. Yeah, I don't think it will tell us because uh, we don't have any uh, really alerts for that. But, again, guys, it's going to be really, really, really record-breaking heat. Uh, so, we're going to be seeing not only record-breaking rain, record-breaking uh, start to tornado season, but we're now going to be seeing a record-breaking start for uh, so the so-called spring, which is actually going to be like summer for millions. So, this is definitely be a main topic. Uh, so, definitely going to be uh, expecting severe weather and uh war uh heat uh videos or warm-up videos or um yeah expecting those videos for the next couple coming uh coming days because really that's going to be the only topics that we actually really have so again we're going to have multiple more updates on this and on severe weather so just be expected to see uh, a lot more of the these same videos hope you guys enjoy the video and bye guys